Hey. Yeah? You ever wonder why we're here? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Why are we here? I mean, are we the product of some cosmic coincidence, or is there really a God watching everything, you know, with a plan for us and stuff? I don't know, man, but it keeps me up at night. What? I mean, why are we out here, in this canyon? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, let's talk about God. Uh, huh? nothing. You want to talk about it? No. You sure? Yes. What are they doing? What? I said, what are they doing now? God damn, I'm getting so sick of answering that question. You have a fucking rifle. I can't see shit. Don't bitch at me because I'm not going to just sit up here and play with my dick. Hey, okay, look. They're just standing there and talking, okay? That's all they're doing. That's all they ever do is just stand there and talk. That's what they were doing last week. That's what they were doing when you asked me five minutes ago. So five minutes from now, when you ask me, what are they doing? My answer is going to be... They're still just talking, and they're still just standing there. What are they talking about? You know what? I fucking hate you. Anyone want to guess why I gathered you here today? Uh, is it because the war's over and you're sitting at home? That's exactly it, Private. War's over. We won. Turns out you're the big hero. We're going to hold a parade in your honor. I get to drive the float. And Simmons here is in charge of confetti. I'm no stranger to sarcasm, sir. God damn it, Private. Shut your mouth or else I'll have Simmons slit your throat while you're asleep. Oh, I do it too. Bass, bring up the vehicle. Shotgun, shotgun. Fuck. I like to call it the warthog. Why a warthog, sir? Because M12 LRV is too hard to say in conversation, son. No, but why warthog? I mean, it doesn't really look like a pig. Say that again. I think it looks more like a puma. What in Sam hell is a puma? Uh, you mean like the shoe company? No, like a puma. It's a big cat, like a lion. You're making that up. I'm telling you, it's a real animal. Simmons. I want you to poison Griff's next meal. Yes, sir. Look, see these two toe hooks? They look like tusks. And what kind of animal has tusks? A walrus. Didn't I just tell you to stop making up animals? <laughs> what kind of car is it? No, I've never seen a car like that before. It looks like a, uh, like a big cat of some kind. What, like a puma? Yeah, man, there you go. Sorry, man. Start of the command getting orders. Ain't nobody in charge today. Actually, Private, he left me in charge while he's gone. You were such a kiss-ass. And I go, if you've got a ship that can carry a tank, why not just put guns on the ship and use it instead? Hey, kid. Yeah? You're ruining the moment. Shut up. Oh. Okay. You got it, man. You do know where the store is, right, rookie? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course I do. Sure, no problem. Well... Get going, then. Other way. I knew that. Just got to turn around, that's all. How long do you think until he figures out there's no store? I say at least a week. Elbow grease? How stupid do they think I am? Once I get back to base with that headlight fluid, I'm going to talk to the sergeant. Oh, well, are you going to marry her when you get back? I'm not going to get married. My dad always said... Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Hey, Rookie, did you just call my girlfriend a cow? No, I think he called her a slut. Man, that guy is dumber than you are. You mean he's dumber than you are. Wow, Tucker. That was a great comeback. Uh, Mr. Church? Sir? Oh, my God. What? Tucker, I swear, I'm going to kill him. Sorry about calling your girl a slut. Rookie! Shut it up! Just shut up! You're driving me crazy! Get in there! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Rookie, you stay here. Me and Tucker, we'll head to the teleporter. We'll cut him off at the pass. Right. Tucker, you ready? Let's go. There is no way I'm going through that thing. 
Tucker, we don't have time for this. Why would they give us a teleporter if it doesn't work? I don't, I don't know. Why would they give us a tank that no one can drive? We already tested the teleporter, remember? We threw rocks through it. Yeah, and so what? The rocks came out the other side, didn't they? Yeah, but they were all hot and covered with black stuff. Oh, so I guess that's what this is all about then. You're afraid of a little black stuff. Yes, I am. I am afraid of black stuff. Tucker, I almost hate to do this to you. You wouldn't. You know, I look at it this way. Either A, we go through there and get the flag back, or B, we stay here and I get to kill you. Either way, I win. For the record, I want you to know, rocks aren't people. Duly noted. Now get in there. Crap. All right. One, two... idea what you're talking about. I didn't hear any shots. I'm telling you, it was four shots. Like, bam, bam, bam. Wait a second. That's only three bams. Bam. Simmons, get the warthog. You mean the puma? Three! Jesus! Holy shit! Who is this guy? What in the hell? Tucker? Is that you? How did you get up here ahead of me? And what's all that black shit on your armor? Hey! Freeze, Sarge! Will you stop calling me a sergeant? I'm still just a private. The Sarge is still a private? Oh my god. The teleporter sent me back in time. I know you don't know me, but you have to believe what I'm about to tell you. Sometime in your future, I get stationed here in Blood Gulch and we meet. And this guy here, he gets promoted to sergeant of the Red Army and we spy on them. And they get this new jeep and I'm all like, there is no way you can pick up chicks in a tank. Tucker, what the fuck are you babbling about? You know, in hindsight, we should have brought the tank. Hey, Tucker, what good is a tank going to do us if nobody here knows how to drive it? Yeah, I can see how hiding behind a rock is a much better strategy. Well, yeah, but... Oh, man, I guess I gotta give that one to you. Now that you've mastered driving the M808V, let's move on to some of the safety features. No! No! Wait! Go back! Why are there six pedals if there are only four directions? Hey, they stopped firing. Why are you whispering? Um, I don't know. Okay, you ready? Let's do this on three. One. Wait, on three? Or three and then go? On three. It's always faster to go on three. Okay, okay, on three. Here! Tutorial deactivated. Auto fire sequence activated. Ready? Acquiring targets. I'm going for the Jeep. Cover me. One. Target acquired. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Two. Target locked. Three. Oh, you backstabbing cockbite. Firing main cannon. Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! New target acquired. That's not a target. That's Church. Yeah, that's right! It's me! Church! What's going on, man? Target locked. What? No! Target unlock! Unlock! Please help me, nice lady! Firing main cannon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Holy fuck! Church, are you okay? Talk to me! Church! You shot Church, you team-killing fucktard! Auto-fire sequence deactivated. Tucker! Tucker! Church! It's going to be okay, man. No. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna make it. Tucker, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? I just want you to know... I always hated you. I always hated you the most. Yeah, I know you did. Now hurry up and die, you prick. Okay. What happened? Big tank shooting. Woo! Damn, man. We only ran like 300 feet. You are 
are really out of shape. Fuck you. Things are kind of hectic right now. The new rookie arrived, and somehow he managed to infiltrate the blue base. And now we have the flag, the warthog is damaged, one of the guys is dead, and there's this huge fucking tank about to destroy our base. Am I talking to the right base? I am the ghost of church, and I have come back with a warning. You're not church. Church is blue. You're right. Rookie, shut up, man. Poor Jimmy was the last one to go. Tex walked up to him, pulled Jimmy's skull right out of his head, and beat him to death with it. Wait a second. How do you beat someone to death with their own skull? That doesn't seem physically possible. That's exactly what Jimmy kept screaming. This doesn't seem physically possible! <laughs> well, that's when the tank showed up and shit just started blowing up. I don't know. Griff. Do you have any godly idea how much this piece of equipment costs? I, I don't know, like, uh, what, 10, 10, 20, 25 bucks, maybe? Uh, you're you're going to kill me now, aren't you? Tell you what, Griff, I'm a fair man. I'll give you a 10-second head start here before I let Lopez do anything he wants to you. Guys, I just want you to know, I'm really, really sorry here. Uh, Five, Mississippi. Six, Mississippi. Okay, uh, I guess I better get going then. Hey guys, that's not funny. Somebody can get hurt here. Uh, hey, Tex? I don't know what it's been like at your other bases, but we try not to use other soldiers as target practice here. I'm scared. What the fuck? What? What is that thing? What thing? There's something on your head. What? Is it a spider? Get it off! No, it's not a spider. It's like a blue thing. What? Like a blue spider? Get it off! It's not a spider. Now, calm down. It's some kind of fuzzy pulsating thing. That doesn't sound much better than a spider. Does it hurt? No. Maybe we should try to take it off. Good idea. Go for it. Me? By we, I mean you, asshole. Well, somebody needs to get it off. Look, it might be dangerous. What was the one thing I told you guys the last time I appeared? That Sidewinder is cold? <sighs> what was the other one thing I told you? Oh, great. You broke my voice filter. You cock-biting fucktards. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! Only a chick could give me a headache this big. I should have known. She didn't like me. Girls never like me. Caboose, I don't think anybody likes you. I like me. I don't think I've seen a girl that mean before. Are you sure she's a chick and not a guy? Or like, part guy, part shark? I'm pretty sure I would know if Tex was a guy. And I'm definitely sure I would know if she was part shark. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, if Tex was a guy. Wait, wait, wait. If she's a girl, then why is she named Tex? Uh, because she's from Texas. Trust me, it makes sense. Hey, you should blame God. First you make hangovers, and now half women, half sharks that won't even sleep with me. Thanks for nothing, God. Come on, Caboose! Does it hurt? No, not at all! Okay, here I come! Does it hurt for real? Oh yeah, big time. Ouchie! You lied to me. Since my days on strike, we can't hear you! Sir? Are you okay? Uh, who are you talking to, Red? Me? No, I'm talking to Lopez. Because, you know, that's real rewarding. Hey, what'd I tell you about that? Goddamn blues out here. It's like, I'm so goddamn mad, I can spit. <laughs> um, sir, did you just spit inside your own helmet? Uh, yeah, I guess I did. Permission to speak freely, sir? Go ahead. That's really fucking gross. What are you doing? One of the Reds has Tex. I'm going to shoot him and kill him and free Tex. Then Church will forgive me for killing him and we will be friends. Oh, come on. You don't actually believe any of that, do you? Oh, we're going to be best friends. All right. I'll make one more distraction. 
Then you run up to the teleporter and escape. Ready? One, two, three. What the? Where did my body go? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Tucker did it. Griff, this isn't working. We have to try something else. If he gives you mouth to mouth, I'm leaving. Maybe you should give him mouth to mouth. I'm leaving. I always believed in you, Simmons. Uh, actually, it's Griff you should thank, sir. He did all the work. Griff? Yes, sir. Griff, why in hell would you give somebody a CPR for a bullet wound in the head? That doesn't make a lick of sense. <sighs> You're welcome, sir. I mean, it's all so damn inconsistent. What would you do if they stabbed me in the toe, rub my neck with aloe vera? Look at it. It's not pink. It's like uh, a lightish red. Guess what? They already have a color for lightish red. You know what it's called? Pink. I hate you guys. Well, hello, dirtbags. And a fine hello to you, madam. It's light red. Don't get your panties on a wad there, Barbie. Standing any of this? Me amo es Lopez. Lopez! He just said Lopez! I understood that! I can speak Spanish! As soon as I have, I'm out of here. What do you need me to do? I have no idea. If you knew how to fix the tank, I would have you do that. Okay. Wait, wait you, you know how to fix Sheila? I love you. Apasado. Man, first he doesn't talk at all, and now we can't get him to shut up. What's he saying? What are you asking me for? Well, you know, it, because you're of a uh, Latino persuasion. Simmons isn't a Spanish name, you dumbass. I'm Dutch-Irish. But I thought... What? Eh, never mind. I'm from Iowa. Nobody cares. How are we going to turn her over? I mean, it's, it's not like as if we could just lift. Oh. She is a very strong lady. So, I suppose if you're helping us, you're not as mean as I thought. I wouldn't say I'm mean. I just get hired to do mean things. Yeah, but you like it. Well, I think it's important to enjoy what you do. So, let's say I paid you to kill Caboose. You will still do it, right? Even though you're supposed to be helping us? Is this a hypothetical discussion, or should we start talking numbers? Yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Hey, Tucker! What? What the hell is my body still doing up here? That's part of being dead, Church. Your body doesn't really move around much anymore. Maybe you haven't fully grasped the concept yet. All right, well, let me rephrase that then. Why in the hell haven't you buried my body yet? Buried? With what? All we have are pistols and rifles. What do you want me to do? Shoot you a grave? Well, then how about shipping me back home? You know, let the loved ones pay a little respect. Well, Church, here's your girlfriend. Tex, as one of Church's loved ones, would you like to pay your respects? That was a stirring eulogy. Rest in peace, good buddy. I am not happy about this. I have an idea. I have an idea! Yeah, we heard you the first time, Caboose. We were just ignoring you. Tucker, the first chance we get, you are going to bury my body. Quit your bitching. Nothing's going to happen to it. It's a freaking indignity! My body fought hard for this army, and it deserves to be laid to rest. Get over it. You're already dead. What's the worst that can happen now? Hey, church! Look! Birds! Why are they flying around in circles? Ugh, oh, God. Okay, I'll go again. I spy something that begins with... Dirt! Damn! How did you... Well, because you did rock last time. That's all that's out here is rock and dirt. Yeah, this canyon sucks. Look at this. No. They have a girl. They have a girl! A what? A girl! A girl! Look! Pink armor! Oh, man! How come they get a girl? Uh, you guys realize that I'm a chick, right? And that I'm standing right here? Yeah, Tex, but when we say a girl, we mean a girl girl. And what the hell does that mean? Nothing! Hey. Yeah? You ever wonder why we're here? No. I never, ever wonder why we're here. Semper Fi, bitch. Come in, private church. 
Do you copy? Soldier unit Tex almost has the armor vehicle situation rectified. Okay, we require verification of your mission Miss. <clears throat> How is your progression? Caboose, nadie aquí está escuchando me. No más puedo hablar español. He says he wants to talk to you. I'll, uh, I'll stay here. Yeah, stay here and guard this cement rack. It's vital to our success. All right, I'm on board. All right, here's the plan. Wow, back so soon? You guys win the war already? Yeah, uh, did you want to finish telling me the plan now, Sarge? If Good arm. Oh, crap. Hell yeah! Three points, you dirty whore! 